spawn to one other point in the, the Q poll this morning. And it's sure. one that I, I think you'd want to address directly. And this is the idea that uh, voters see Rick Scott as, as more consistently conservative than you by, by 12 points. That, that, seems, that would seem to, to hurt more than some of the other numbers. Well, the truth is I have a record of being a Reagan conservative, and he has nothing but slick ads to show for that. Uh, the truth is that everything I've done in my life has been based upon conservative principles from time I was the founder and publisher of the campus conservative publication at the University of Florida. Uh, I think what Mr. Scott's come along with is $35 million of he and his wife, maybe more, and he's trying to paint a picture with that money that's just not true. And the truth hurts about Rick Scott himself. The truth hurts about him. That's why he is doing a lot of what he's doing, saying things that aren't true about me, because he wants to mask the truth that's so painful. The truth that's so painful is that he ran a company that was responsible for, he personally was responsible for, that created perhaps the most massive fraud against senior citizens, against Medicare in our nation's history. This is taking money, taxpayer money, senior citizens' money, in huge numbers, 55 hospitals were raided by the FBI. Rick Scott was fired by his board of directors. They forced him out within a very short time after those raids occurred for a reason. Hospital Corporation of America, Columbia HCA, did very poorly after that. They had a tremendous problem as a corporation because Rick Scott ran that business so badly. He wants to cover that up. He does not want people to know that because he's touting himself as the businessman who could be elected governor and run this state as he says, hold him accountable. He didn't hold his business accountable. He had the largest health care corporation in America at that time, and he didn't operate it or manage it properly. He might have even been guilty of the crimes that were involved in it. I don't know. He wasn't charged, but that doesn't mean he wasn't. It was a criminal fine against him by the federal government. A criminal fine for, against the company, I should say, for $1.7 billion. I think that's what this is all about. His advertising has been trying to portray himself as more conservative than me. And why do you trust him? Why do you trust his ads? I've been endorsed by Jeb Bush, by 28 sheriffs in Florida. That's almost every Republican sheriff for this election. I've been endorsed by Newt Gingrich and Dick Armey and Mitt Romney and Rudy Giuliani, most of the legislative leaders for a reason. And the Chamber of Commerce, the Florida Chamber of Commerce that represents 140,000 businesses in Florida and 3 million employees. And they did that for a reason, because they're looking for a leader. They're looking for somebody who can lead this state over the next several years out of the very difficult time we're in. And they don't trust Rick Scott to do that. They don't trust him. Why should the people trust him? And why should they trust somebody who just has lots of money, can throw it up on the screen, and make great ads? I have a record. You can examine my record. And it is a conservative record. And I'm proud of that record. And things that he says about me <coughs> that simply aren't true. I support the Arizona immigration law. He's manipulated my words to make it sound like I don't, but I do and I have and I've consistently supported that. And I have a brief of supporting upholding the constitutionality of it right now. We just uh, were disappointed in yesterday's ruling. Uh, I filed the lawsuit that, that we were talking about earlier to declare Obamacare unconstitutional. Uh, it's hard to imagine that Rick Scott is more conservative than I am, but he's certainly got a a record of spending a lot of money distorting my, manipulating my record, and trying to make it look that way. Last question. Guys. On the e-verify motion that you passed today, um